This is a solution to a classic vector and kinematics problem where a boat crosses a river against a current. In this particular problem, a ferry travels at a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour as it crosses a six mile wide river. The launch and landing sites are directly across the river from one another and the ferry must travel at an angle of theta off a direct path across the river due to a 16 mile an hour current. What is the measure of angle theta and how long does it take for the ferry to cross the river? Well, to complete this problem, we do the same thing we always do when we have a physics problem. We draw a picture. So here's my river, and we're going to say that this is the launching point here, and this will be the landing point here. So I want my ferry to travel directly across the river like this. I know that this distance is six miles. And there's a current pushing on the ferry at 16 miles per hour. Now I'm going to assume that this current is directly perpendicular to the path that my ferry is going to take. And the next thing we do for every physics problem is to set directions. I'm going to say that the positive y direction is up and the positive x direction is to the right. Our ferry if it's going to go against this 16 mile an hour current, is going to actually have to travel with a velocity kind of like that at this angle theta. The idea is if it travels against the current here, the current will push it back so it will end up at its landing site directly across the river. So let's assume that our ferry travels at the maximum speed. So this is my velocity vector. It's going at some angle theta, and it's going at the maximum speed, so the length of this vector is 20 miles per hour. Now let's break this velocity vector into its x and y components. The x component of our velocity vector is the amount of our velocity that's designed to counter this 16 mile an hour current. So our x component of our velocity has to be 16 miles an hour. Or you can think this arrow has to be 16 long. If this angle here is theta, and assuming that the two sides of our river are parallel lines, then this angle also has to be theta. That means that the x component of this velocity vector is also equal to 20 sine theta, because this is the side opposite theta. And the y component would be 20 cosine theta. Now, if the x component of this velocity vector has to equal 16, and it's equal to 20 sine theta, then we can solve for theta. Now realize this x component has to be equal to 16 because if it's less than 16, the current will push us somewhere over here. And if it's greater than 16, we'll end up somewhere over here. And we want to be directly across. So to find this angle of theta, we take 16 and we set it equal to 20 sine theta. Which means the sine of theta is equal to 16 over 20. Take the inverse sine of both sides. And you should find that theta is equal to 53.1 degrees. So we've completed the first half of this problem. Now we want to find how long does it take for the ferry to cross the river. Well, we have a distance, 6 miles, and we're looking for time. Well, I know that distance is equal to velocity times time. But when we use this equation, we have to make sure that everything's going in the same direction. This is a six mile distance in the y direction. And we're looking for time. So d is six, and t is what we're looking for, but we gotta plug in a velocity. We cannot plug in 20 miles an hour, because 20 miles an hour is not in the y direction. We can't plug in 16 miles an hour because that's in the x direction, not the y. We need to find the y component of this 20 mile an hour vector 
because that's the speed we're moving in the y direction. And that's equal to 20 cosine theta. So if I plug in the value of theta, 53.1 degrees, into this equation, I should find my velocity in the y direction. So 20 cosine theta, or 20 cosine 53.1 degrees. This is gonna come out to be 12, or 12 miles per hour. Which means even though our boat is traveling at 20 miles per hour at an angle of 53.1 degrees, in the y direction only, it's moving at 12 miles per hour. And since we only care about the y direction, we're gonna plug in 12 for v. So we get six is equal to 12 times t. Divide both sides by 12, and t is equal to 1 half. Now we have to make sure we get our units correct. If our velocity was in miles per hour and our distance is in miles, then time must be in hours. So the ferry trip takes a half hour.